Hello guys and girls, this is French Key and in this video I will explain you how I use uh, the silver bullet decoding chart uh, and this use will depend maybe on how you set up your tool either with a front tensioning or uh, with a back tensioning. So basically uh, the chart is very simple. Uh, here you have all the discs in your lock and obviously you have more in the list than you have in an actual lock but it reflects the number of uh, grooves that you have here and in the key it means which disk we are speaking about the angle is what actual code do you have on that key so is it not cut which would be a 1 or is it fully cut which would be a six. Uh, this is a guide. It could be different from one, one manufacturer to the next. Uh, if not cut is a one or a zero, or it can be both in sometimes for Abloy, for example, uh, could be like that. And also which disc is number one and which disc is number six or seven or eight in the lock. So usually on disc tumbler locks, the, the disc which is near to the tip of the key is disc number one and the disc that is close to the outside of the lock is the latest disc in the list. So it could be seven, eight, uh, depending how many discs you have in your lock. But what you want to do when you pick a lock is not to decode it exactly how the manufacturers is making the key and making the lock. You want to decode it the easiest way for you and then you can make a comparison uh, to, to find the actual code of the key. And anyway, most of the time you will not cut key. You just want to decode the lock to maybe pick it again or take it apart or you know, if you are playing with it, uh, it's good to know what is the code. If you need to open it again, uh, it's good to know the code and to use it again. And if you actually need to cut the key, then you will figure out uh, what is the actual combination. And this is what we are speaking about now. So in this configuration, when I tension at the front of the lock and I pick the discs back to it, Disc number one in this configuration will be the first disc or actually the second one because the first one is used to tension the lock. But the second one and then the third one and the fourth one and I will go in that direction. So if you look at the key, it is like the key is put that way in the lock. So when I decode a key, let's say when I pick it and I decode it, I have code two, three, three, five, three, one, maybe something like that. Then this will be my key in that shape. So it is good practice on your design, on your chart, to actually draw a small key and then you know which way you have picked it and which way you have decoded it. And especially because on the opposite of what I said earlier, disc number one here will be a disc close to the key head and disc number six will be a disc close to the tip. It is reversed from what the manufacturer usually does. So this is important to know what you do and to keep track of what you have done. Because again, it really depends which way you put the tool. So if we look at this configuration now, in this configuration, I tension at the back and I pick all the disc before the latest disc. In this configuration, disc number one will actually be the disc all the way to the back, or actually the one just before, again, because the very latest disc is used for tensioning. So I will pick it again that way, but my key is in this configuration in the lock. So 
again, it is good practice to design quickly a key, but then you know in which way you have decoded your lock. And when we speak about the angles, here, it might depend how you have set up your tool, but in this case, when I pick it, this is a number six here, because this is when I push the disc all the way to the right. And this is a number six. If I turn it back all the way to the left, this will be a number one. So this is actually a non-cut, oh sorry, a fully cut key. And in this configuration, this is a non-cut key because it pushes like a blank. In this configuration, when I pick it, so if I go like this, I pick the lock, so I tension it with this part and I turn all the way to the right here is a number six and it's like a blank. And if I turn back here, all the right to the left, then it will be a cut, let's say one, which is fully cut in this configuration. So again, what you decode on your chart does not have to be exactly what the manufacturer says, but it must be consistent with what you do in your lock and what you feel and what you know about that lock. And then if the manufacturer says six is fully cut and one is not cut, you just have to reverse what you have put here. Or if the manufacturer is using the same definition as you do, then you use what you have here. So it can be a little bit confusing at the beginning, but you will see when you practice it, it's, it's obvious uh, because again, you know that all the way to the right here is like a blank, and so not cut, and all the way to the left here is a fully cut key because it's like the key is not touching the disc. So I hope it's good for you and if you have any comments, any question, you can always send an email to Silver Bullet and they will help you. And you know, you can also contact me on Twitter. It's Frenchkey underscore FR and I will be very happy to help you if I can do that. Have a good day, enjoy.